thanks again for coming to our picnic, Tempest. No, thank you all for inviting me. I really didn't expect it. Why didn't you bring your pet, though? All of our pets really wanted to meet him today. My pet? Yeah, you know, that little grubber gal, whatever his name was. What? Grubber's not my pet. He was just kind of a sidekick, uh, hedgehog thing. Oh, we all assumed he was a pet. Awkward. I've actually never had a pet before. Aw, that's a real shame. Do you think you'd maybe like one? I don't know. I can't imagine any animal even liking me. No, that's not true. It's just a matter of finding an animal you click with. That's right. You gotta find one with a personality like yours. Or just the one that sticks around the longest. Well, I guess you six would know better than me. You know what? I'll try it. I'll just zap in a bunch like yours and see which one I like best. Um, uh, Tempest, darling, I I'm not sure that's such a good- Here goes! Wowee! Those are, uh, some real unique-looking critters, uh, Tempest. Um, you know, if you'd just asked, I could have taken you to my animal sanctuary. You could have chosen one of them. Uh, Tempest, what exactly were you trying to achieve with this spell? I was trying to make copies of all of your pets, but it doesn't look like it's worked out that way. You know what, though? It looks like I made a pretty good copy of the alligator. I think I'll keep that one. There he is, my perfect pet. Except there's one problem with him. He's just a stuffed animal. Nuts. Maybe we should just go to my animal sanctuary. I think that might be for the best. Uh, is no pony else gonna talk about how gummy can talk? Hello everyone, it's Cleo here, and today I'm going to be showing you the very first toys I used as the main six as pets in my very early videos. You see, back in 2015, when I first started making videos, you couldn't really get any of the main six pets in official toy forms, so I had to get creative. Luckily, I have kept most of my childhood toys, so I had quite a lot of different ones to choose from, but they are pretty random, so let's take a look at them. First of all, we have Rainbow Dash's pet, Tank. Yep, this is him. This is actually a Kinder Surprise toy from a long, long time ago, and believe it or not, he was actually the best match I had. I didn't have anything more similar to him, so this was Tank for a little while. The original paint of his eyes actually came off, so I had to paint them back on, and as you can see, I did a rather rubbish job. He can also do a thing. I'm not quite sure why he's made like that, it's really not very entertaining, but he, he does a thing. And then, of course, a little while after that, I got the real one! He is so much better! The version that Hasbro has released is extremely accurate to the cartoon, and I really wouldn't change anything about him. I think this one has his own charm, though. I really do. Obviously, the colours are all wrong, but really, he's not too far off. Okay, next up, we have Fluttershy's pet bunny. Angel! This is the original one I used. He's, he's not very accurate. Now, I believe he actually came with a Kelly doll petting zoo set. As you can see, he's a rather a realistic looking rabbit. The proportions look pretty much like a real one. And really, the only likeness is that it's a white rabbit. Other than that, he doesn't look anything like Angel. Now, although Hasbro has made several versions of Angel at this point, I do not have an official toy, and instead, I have this little eraser of him, which is pretty much like the toy. I think it's pretty much the same shape but he's not made of plastic, he's made of rubber. Now this upgrade is not quite as clear. In a lot of ways, this one's actually better, but this little guy is a lot more recognizable, so he's who I use in videos now. Okay, next up we have Applejack's pet dog, Winona, yes, this is her old form. As you can see, she's rather a realistic looking dog indeed. She's actually from the Animal Hospital toy line. Of I have quite a lot of those from when I was very little, and this was the closest fit I could find for Winona. 
Like Angel, she is much too realistic compared to the ponies and doesn't look right at all. But I didn't have anything better, so she was used in several videos as quite a prominent character as well. And here is the upgrade of Winona, which I haven't actually used in videos yet, because I think she looks kind of creepy. Now, although of course this Winona's body shape and head shape is very accurate to the show, much more true to it than this dog could ever be, her eyes look completely soulless, look! They didn't put any highlight in them and it looks so creepy! I think she could be cute if they just painted in some white circles, that's really all it needs, but I don't really know how to do that without messing it up. In a way, this dog was kind of a good choice, and in a way, I don't really know where I was coming from because the ears are all wrong and, and the colours are pretty much the opposite way around. As you can see, this one's mainly white and this one's mainly brown. And this one has white highlights and this one has little dark splodges on it. It's kind of like the inverted version. Next up we have Twilight's pet Owl. Owl wishes, and this one is my favourite of the substitute pets. It is actually a Playmobil Owl and I really don't think it was a bad choice for the role. The colours aren't too far off and it's so cute. Look, the style even matches quite nicely with My Little Pony, I think. Now, as far as I know, Hasbro actually hasn't released a toy version of Owl Wishes, but I do have the Eraser version, which I think I forgot to mention with the last Eraser, came with the UK My Little Pony magazine. Anyway, as I said, I do think they match rather nicely. As you can see, the proportions of the eyes aren't too far off, and they're in the same little pose. However, this one is extremely accurate to the cartoon with all the sculpting and the colours. And the fact that it's an eraser really doesn't bother me because it still looks like a proper toy. The seams aren't too noticeable. And I've kept it in perfect condition. Of course, I've never used it as an eraser. It's only ever been used as a little prop in the background for my stop motions. In particular, in the Nutcracker series where I made it Cadence's pet instead. And next up we have Rarity's pet cat. Opalescence, or should I say cats? In my early videos, I used all four of these little kittens for opalescence in different poses. Not because they match very well, just because it's the best white cat I had. These are actually also animal hospital toys. And I believe I most commonly use this one as opalescence because it looks the most grumpy. I think these four are all really cute, but they definitely don't match the art style of My Little Pony, and they definitely do not look anything like Opal. I think these are probably the poorest match of them all. And here is the super show accurate Opal Essence that Hasbro made. She is a lot uglier, but she fits the cartoon a lot better too. I mean, basically the only thing that was right about these cats is that they were white. Nothing else is right. Not even the color of the nose. This cat is fat, has a little tuft at the top with little accessories, bright green droopy eyes, and a little frown on her face. I really love this cat. I'm actually looking forward to making more stop motions this year with more of the pets in them. Look how unimpressed Opal is by these kittens. Your face when you see me using these is Opal. And last but not least, here is the original gummy I used. And yes, I know what you're thinking. Cleo, that is an officially released Hasbro gummy. But I have since upgraded him. This was the very first one I used in my videos, on the screen at least. But very recently, I have got a better version of him. Here he is, the more show accurate version. He's pretty much exactly the same, but there are two key differences. Number one is the eyes. As you can see, this one has the shine in them. They're slightly more pink, and the lines are a little more warped in his eye. And he is missing the stitching details down the sides of his legs and his back here because this one was part of the Equestria Girls set and is meant to be a plushy toy. And this one is part of a pony set, and it's meant to be the real, living gummy. So although he hasn't had a chance to be used in a video yet, he will be replacing this one as Pinkie Pie's full-time pet. What is life? And here is the whole gang together with the old and the new pets. Okay, I think the award for the best substitute easily goes to a fake Owl Wishes here. And the award for worst substitute, of course, goes to fake Opal because she looks nothing like the real one. 
This has actually given me a really nostalgic trip down memory lane about my old videos, and I do plan on making more now that the Nutcracker series is over. I'll have time to make more stop motion videos the same way I did before, but better now that I have years of practice behind me. I have loads of different ideas for stories, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled on this channel throughout the summer. Also, don't forget to let me know in the comments which of every single pet I've shown you today, new and old, is your favourite and why. I'd love to know. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for lots of fun new videos every week. Thanks for watching!